Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I am Grace, the one and only behind Font Scordy, and you are in my art channel. If you like what you see, please subscribe for more. Today, I have a... Um, well, for the thumbnail, you may already see the sketchbook. Yeah, am I allowed to call this a sketchbook tour? Is this even a sketchbook? I don't know, I bought it last year because it looks so cute, but never thought I will be using it until the first of this month. I saw it and say, what the heck, let's try it. And let me tell you, I had so much fun with this little guy. I carry it around, I carry it in my pencil case or sometimes in my pocket. And every time I had like five minutes or something, I grab it and make a doodle. And before I know it, I finished the entire book. I start this on June 1st. I didn't put the exact date at the beginning because I thought it would last me months, but it lasts me 10 days. 10 days, this is so silly. But yeah, sketchbooks specifications, uh, random ETBT traveler's notebook with common paper inside. Oh, and yes, you can take the notebook out. <laughs> I'm not going to explain the sketches, they are more like doodles I did between waiting times. So yeah, here they are. I did film the first one for a short. I thought I was going to forget about this thing and it will take me months to finish, but yeah, here we are. All the drawings are made with gel pens. I like using color pens, so I carry several ones in my pencil case. They are really nice for drawing. I usually like sketching with ballpoint pens, but gel pens been growing on me. They are a nice mix between ballpoint pen and fine liners, and they come in such a tiny points. The one I like more are the 0.38 tips. A lot of these doodles were done with that one. The only bad thing, well, it's a good and a bad thing, is the fact you need to be more precise with your lines because there's only one opacity. If you mess up, you mess up. There's no eraser or soft lines, so you need to be more conscious of what are you doing. In the big picture, that is a good thing. It helps you to develop more as an artist. But at the same time, if you are not ready for line commitment, you are in trouble. Every one of these doodles took me um, maybe 5 minutes. I don't think I went up to 10, but maybe for some? I don't know, I didn't time myself, I just went with the flow. It was really nice to carry this around, almost like a fidget toy, just to pull it out, do a quick doodle and put it away. It kind of gives you a sense of accomplishment to do something with that time. And that was it. I like this tiny format and since you can make the notebook inside, I was thinking Maybe I can make my own little notebook and replace it? Or with watercolor paper? I wonder if I will be able to make a tiny book with that because watercolor paper is thicker, but maybe one with low GSM? Also, guess what? I have another one. <laughs> I got this one as a gift a few months later after I got the first one, but this has more autumn vibes. So I want to save it for the autumn season. Oh, maybe I can do Inktober in this one? Should I? Tiny Inktober doodles? I'm getting too many ideas. I need to stop now. Anyway, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please give a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell for more nonsense. Hope you have an amazing week. Please take care. Bye-bye.